Hello, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of Inside Pitch here at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I'm Ben Fredrickson alongside Jeff Gordon here to break down this week in Cardinals baseball and look ahead a little bit. Gordon, the Cardinals are on the road now for uh, a while. The All-Star break is coming, and they didn't exactly head out of town the way they hoped. We heard an impassioned defense from Mike Schilt of his team, and then they went out and got swept by the Oakland A's. What do you make of the Cardinals right now? What do you make of uh, Mike Schilt's defense of his team saying, hey, we're playing better baseball than the record shows at times? And I don't think that people are paying enough attention to our record. We're within striking distance of the National League Central. Well, they're a 500 team, so we're paying attention, okay? Um, <laughs> and yeah, are they fielding better? Yes, and that's a credit to the coaches and the players who've put the work in, Jose Martinez and right field, Matt Carpenter at third base. They put the work in, okay? And certainly they are within reach because the Cubs are terrible and the Brewers are terrible. So, yes, you are correct, two and a half games back heading toward the weekend. That's great. Bad news is your team's not very good. For, for all of the things you're doing with the running game, which is terrific, that offense, when your key guys aren't hitting, Ben Fred, what are you going to do? I felt like what Schilt really wanted to say was, hey, we're not playing bad baseball for a team that is right now getting terrible performances out of two of <laughs> our most important hitters yeah. and has also had two very important pitchers and Carlos Martinez and Alex Reyes not pan out like expected. He didn't go there, but I, you kind of had to run it through the translator a little bit. And I don't, I don't have a problem with him showing some fire. Um, I like that he shows that. I think this team needs some more of that, and he's going to defend his guys. His guys need to, to back him up. Um, and right now, you know, Matt Carpenter and Paul Goldschmidt are, are not getting that done. I think he's fair to point out the defense has been good. It has been. We killed this team in the past for, for shoddy defense. That's, that's gone away. The Cardinals are one of the best fielding teams error-wise um, in, uh, in the National League. And their base running is excellent. But you got to get base runners <laughs> in order to, to right. show your excellent base running. And I think, too, the starting pitching, and Schultz mentioned this, it has to be more consistent. They've gotten good performances out of guys. Dakota Hudson's really turned a corner, but they have to get more reliable across the board there. That might not come from what they need. They've got to, they need help from the outside. So maybe in some way that was Schilt knocking on the front door of the yeah. front office and saying, hey, can we get some help here? Now, in fairness to Mike and his staff, I think they've done all they can do with this group. Certainly, again, the running game improved. They've worked hard defensively to improve. Mike's tried to be consistent with his player usage. He's tried to define roles for the bullpen. He's shown support for the guys in the rotation. He's done everything he can do with this group, uh, to be honest, and his staff as well. But it's four, month four now of Matt Carpenter not hitting very well, going back to last September. Paul Goldschmidt, month two of not hitting very well. Paul DeYoung, month two of not hitting very well. These are not little slumps. These are three key guys that just are not performing well. What can he do? I don't know. I mean, I agree they have to go outside and look for a stunning pitcher. Great take there. Do they have to do something for the offense as well? You're committed to these guys, right. but you've got your key guys in not weeks-long slumps. Now they're in months-long slumps. Frustrating thing for the Cardinals is they've got no commitment beyond this year from their best hitter, Marcelo Zuna, who's the best offensive-producing left fielder in the game right now, and they've extended Goldschmidt and Carpenter, who are massively struggling. I think there's going to be pressure on that hitting staff, uh, new hitting coach Jeff Albert, to try to get this team out of this lurch and, and find a way. They, 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 have no, they, they get nothing extra base-wise. It's home run right. or, or nothing. There's no doubles. There's no triples. The one guy who can hit triples is Tommy Edmond, we're going to see him at leadoff. This is a, this guy's a breath of fresh air. We don't know how long it will last, but nice addition, call it from Memphis. He's hit since spring training. I like what he adds, a little, a little crackle to the team. Well, yes, and he's hit since he's turned pro. I mean, this is a guy that rose quickly, did the job all the way up the ladder, uh, got a late taste at AAA, great job in spring training, proved it at AAA, proved it at this level, makes it interesting. If John Mozeliak's going to look to move some pieces around, he's got a guy that's knocking on the door that wants some at-bats. And I think he's legit. I mean, we've seen these guys come up before, but if you look at Tommy and his background, I think there's something there. Maybe he'll be contagious. Uh, keep it locked on stltoday.com for all your Cardinals coverage. For Jeff Gordon, I'm Ben Fredrickson. We'll talk to you next time.